Today we're going to talk about the main differences between the 1004D2 and the 1004D3 couplers. Keep in mind that this coupler is representative of most couplers that are currently on the market today. The first thing we'll look at is the face of the coupler. You'll notice in the D2 that there are small keeper screws in the face of the coupler. The D3 we've eliminated those small threads. Small threads over time, very difficult to maintain and remove, in a lot of cases have to be drilled out in the field. The other main difference is the D2 coupler has a single interlock, the D3 coupler we've added a second interlock. So we have an interlock in the top and the bottom. You'll also notice the D2 coupler has a much smaller profile. The D3 we've opened up, rounded off the face, so it makes it easier to interface the truck adapter. We rotate around, and looking at the handle shaft, with a conventional coupler you have to drive a pin out to remove the handle. The next step would be to remove the shaft, you'd have to drive another pin out. With the D3 coupler, we've eliminated the pins. To remove the handle, simply remove the nut. To remove the shaft, we now have a stuff box which is removed with a inch and a quarter socket. The drive link is a critical component in that it centers the links on the shaft. If that thread is not tightened properly, the drive link could slide, which could cause a failure in the field. With the D3, we've eliminated the threaded drive link. It's held in place with a spacer, so there's no way that the drive link can move on the shaft. Another major difference is the handle itself. The D2 has an aluminum handle, which had some long-term maintenance issues. The D3, we've gone to a much more robust stainless steel handle. And those are the main differences. In summary, with the 1004 D3, we've eliminated the small threads, eliminated the pins, developed an innovative handle shaft design, which combined to make the D3 the most user-friendly coupler on the market today.